Hey everyone, it's Taylor from Diaz for Beauty, and today's video is going to be a Dark Alice makeup tutorial. To get started, I'm going to create the ripped mouth effect. To do this, I'm going to use paper towel, and it's super easy to do and very inexpensive. So as you can see, I'm going to rip out a piece of paper towel and fit it to form the shape that I want around my mouth. This may take a few fittings to get right and to be the shape you want, but simply rip it out, and you want to have jagged edges with this, you don't want it to be straight lines. To get it to stick, I'm going to use eyelash glue, so place this right underneath and then hold it for a few seconds to get it to stick. This effect is really similar to the one I did with my Walking Dead tutorial. If you want to see that, you can look at the link in my description box. So simply hold it down and let it dry in the areas that you want the ripped flesh to be. Next to get the outer edges to form down to my skin and look more natural, I'm going to use liquid latex. This allows the material to move and bend, so if you're talking or moving your face, you still have expression. It also gets the paper towel to stick down, and you can paint over it with your foundation to look like flesh. To give it a ripped look, you want to make sure the inside still flaps up. Next, I'm going to use light foundation, and I'm placing this over top of the liquid latex once it's dry, as well as the areas that I'm keeping as my natural skin color. Now to create the zombie effect, I'm filling this in with a black pencil. You can use whatever you want if you want paint or eyeshadow, however you want to do it, but place black all on the inside of the jaw part. But as you can see, I'm leaving the mouth area so I can paint that for teeth. Next, to create the teeth, I'm going to use a white pencil. And through my lip, I'm kind of feeling around to feel my natural tooth shape. It's up to you if you want them to be more jagged or the actual shape of your teeth, however you want to do it. Once the white base for my teeth is done, I'm going to use a really small brush and black pencil again and create the lines. This is going to create the shape of the teeth as well as filling in the rest of the black. So again, just draw the natural lines of your teeth or make them more jagged however you want using a black pencil or eyeshadow. The amount of teeth is up to you, I just did a few. And the more precise you are, the better it's going to look. So now that the black base and teeth are done, I'm going to start by filling in the blood. Which for this blood, I'm using two different bloods. This one, it dries a lot darker and it gives it depth. It's a very sticky blood. So I'm gonna use this first as a base, filling in all the black as well as around the ripped flush area. Next, I'm going to use my liquid blood, and this also gives it more texture and drips down. So I'm applying this all over the paper towel. To create expression and animation, I'm using a black eyeshadow and fine pencil and creating lines around my mouth. And then using my finger, I'm just going to blend them out so they're not as harsh. My eyes are pretty simple, so I'm using a black pencil and about three quarters of the way, I'm lining my lash line. To give a whimsical, kind of playful look, I'm creating a line down below my eye. 
the shape that you choose to do and how much you do, that's totally up to you, but I just did one simple curved line. I'm also going to give it sort of a cat eye, so wing this out at the end. It looks pretty harsh, so to continue that, I'm going to place black on my brow as well. To get more blood of a drip down to look more realistic and fleshy, I'm going to add a bunch of blobs of blood, that way it drips. So again, like I said earlier, make sure that the skin or the paper towel that you applied flaps, that way you can fill the blood inside the pockets and it'll drip out. Apply contacts if you want and false lashes. And you can also do your hair as you desire. I just did a really messy tease kind of look. The information is in the description box for the contacts if you are interested in getting those. Other than that, this look is complete. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions, comment below. Also read the description box for more information. This is kind of a creepy twist, sort of like if she got stuck in Wonderland. If you have any other characters that you would like to request for me to do in a creepy way, comment below.